Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video, please subscribe to our channel to give us your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get upcoming videos. Good luck for your exam. You're driving on a three-lane motorway. When would you use the right-hand lane? A. When you're overtaking. B. When you're turning right. C. When you're towing a trailer. D. When you're driving at high speed. The correct answer is A. Explanation. The right-hand lane of the motorway is for overtaking. Once overtaking is completed, you should return to the lane on your left. Sometimes you may be directed into a right-hand lane as a result of roadworks or an incident. This will be indicated by signs or officers directing the traffic. What should you do before they emerge from a road junction? A. Look left, then right. B. Look right only. C. Look left only. D. Take effective observation. The correct answer is D. Explanation. Taking effective observation means not only looking but assessing the situation and using sound judgment. These are skills that develop over time. To emerge safely, a learner driver may need a much larger gap in the traffic than an experienced driver. A child under three years old is traveling in the front seat of a car. What must the driver ensure? A. The child must wear an appropriate child restraint. B. The child must be carried by an adult. C. The child must be in a rear-facing seat. D. The child must wear the adult seat belt where there's no appropriate child restraint. The correct answer is A. Explanation. The driver must ensure that all passengers under 14 years of age wear a seat belt or sit in an approved child restraint. A child under 3 years of age, who's traveling in the front seat of a car must use an approved child restraint. Where should you position the car when you're driving in traffic lanes? A. In the center of the lane. B. Anywhere within the lane. C. Well to the left of the lane. D. Well to the right of the lane. The correct answer is A. Explanation. When driving in traffic, keep within your lane. Driving in the center of your lane ensures there's as much space as possible between you and the traffic on either side. You should always follow the lane markings, which are there for two reasons. They make the best possible use of road space and they guide the traffic. You're teaching a pupil to move away on a downhill gradient. What advice would you give them about the gears? A. Use the lowest available gear. B. Use an appropriate gear for the gradient. C. Use a lower gear than normal. D. Use the highest available gear. The correct answer is B. Explanation. When teaching a pupil how to move off on a downhill gradient for the first time, the instructor will have to tell them which gear to use. However, as the pupil's skill develops, they should be encouraged to think for themselves and to make decisions based on their knowledge and experience. What should you teach your pupils to do when they're learning to turn their vehicle around in the road? A. Carry out effective all-round observation. B. Concentrate on looking over their left shoulder. C. Concentrate on looking over their right shoulder. D. Check their mirrors continuously. The correct answer is A. Explanation. All-round observation is essential throughout any maneuver. Drivers should use their mirrors and pay particular attention to the direction in which they're moving, to vulnerable road users, and to what might be happening in any blind spots. You're parking your car facing uphill with a curb on your left. You apply the parking brake. What else should you do for added security? A. Leave the front wheels turned to the left, with the vehicle in reverse gear. B. Leave the front wheels turned to the left, 
with the vehicle in first gear, C. Leave the front wheels turned to the right, with the vehicle in first gear, D. Leave the front wheels turned to the right, with the vehicle in reverse gear. The correct answer is C. Explanation. Should the parking brake fail, the use of first gear will help to prevent the vehicle from rolling backwards. By turning the front wheels to the right, they'll travel the shortest distance before running against the curb. This will reduce the potential for the vehicle to move any further. You leave a motorway, following a long period of fast driving. How is your judgment of speed likely to be affected? A. You're likely to drive faster than you realize. B. Your judgment of speed is likely to be unaltered. C. You're likely to drive more slowly than you realize. D. Your judgment of speed is likely to be improved. The correct answer is A. Explanation. After driving at motorway speeds for some time, a driver's judgment of speed may be affected. Having left a motorway, it's important that drivers frequently check their speedometer to avoid driving faster than they realize. You're on a road that has speed humps. What should you do if the driver in front is traveling slowly? A. Sound your horn. B. Flash your headlights. C. Overtake as soon as you can. D. Slow down and stay behind. The correct answer is D. Explanation. Speed humps are a traffic calming measure designed to reduce the speed of traffic. You'll often find reduced speed limits in these areas. Reducing the speed of traffic helps to improve the safety of more vulnerable road users. If you feel the vehicle ahead is traveling too slowly, wait until you're clear of the calmed area before looking for an opportunity to overtake safely. You're driving towards a right-hand bend. Why should you position yourself well to the left? A. To overcome the effect of the road's slope. B. To let faster traffic from behind overtake. C. To be positioned safely if you skid. D. To improve your view of the road. The correct answer is D. Explanation. By taking a position well to the left as you enter a right-hand bend, You'll improve your view around the bend. This will help you to see any hazards as soon as possible. Positioning well to the left also reduces the risk of collision with an oncoming vehicle that may have drifted over the center line. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe UK Learning's YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos. Your support will encourage us to make more videos. We wish you all the best for your exam.